hey hey hello welcome on my channel triple two tarot this is your girl tm and i'm back with another pick a card reading for all of you and today's topic is who is interested in you and what do they want to say to you and why they are interested in you the, this could be romantic way obviously because i definitely will pick up a like if your soulmate, your twin flame, or someone who is a new person who is talking to you, or someone is interested in you anywhere from the world, okay, anywhere. This could be any person. I don't know because I will do the live reading today. Live shufflings, live uh, readings, and we will find out together who is this person that is interested in you and why they are interested and what do they want to say to you, okay? If you know this person already or not, you will definitely let me know in the comments. Now, and I will also pick up uh, whatever I can uh, tell you about this person, okay? So, as I always say, this is a general reading, so take what resonates with you and uh, leave the rest. If it's not resonating with your situation, it does not have to be resonate with everyone, okay? Uh, be open-minded because it's a general reading. Um, there's no problem with me, obviously, but with you, if you will not accept that. Um you can get a personal reading from me if you want it. Check out the description box for all the detail for personal. You can also join me on Instagram and Facebook. Also, the links are already given on my channel. Okay, so there's a three groups in front of you. Okay, and choose intuitively because I will definitely, we will find out together, by the way. I will also use my handmade messages for each pile, each group that what is this person want to say to you. And I will also use a lot of oracles and the live tarot readings. So, the uh, group number one is the world card, three major arcana in front of you. So choose intuitively whatever the pile is calling you. The world card, the number two is the sun, and number three is the moon, okay? So we will figure out who is this person and everything all. So choose intuitively. I will meet up you on your reading. So let's start the magic. Hello, group number one, the people who choose the world card. Let's start your reading and let's see who is this person interested in you. And let's ask why and what they want to say to you let's see please please tell me about group number one people who is this person interested in group number one people the people who choose the world i'm hearing this person is definitely watching you from internet something related with the internet uh, this person is very worldly like they they travel a lot five of swords they travel a lot ace of pentacles reverse the magician reverse Nine of Pentacles reverse and Strength reverse. This is not single person, by the way. This person is not single. Um, so they could be Leo. They could be Gemini, Virgo. They could be... I'm picking up Aries energy from this person. I'm also picking up... Um, wow. I almost said that Taurus. And King of Swords and the Star. Aquarius. Look at this. All these fixed signs. Aquarius, Leo, Taurus. Um, they could be Scorpio too, I feel here, but not mostly. They could be Sagittarius with the Knight of Wands energy. Look, this person is someone, they are going through a separation. They are going through a divorce. Uh, this could be someone who is not, this person is not single, by the way. We have the King of Swords and Magician. They're not single. They're going through a divorce or they're going through some type of separation or they're not living with their wife or husband or with their family or something this could be your ex-husband or wife too by the way especially masculine energy they could be your ex-husband or the person that you are separated with okay you're not living with this person anymore and you're separated from each other we have the world the end with the um, heroine definitely this is someone that you have commitment with you have you had marriage with and you're not living together and you're also not going to give this person another chance you're done so they want you to come back they want to, they're waiting for the right time the start they're healing they're also giving you the time to heal and recover so you can make a, you know maybe may, change your mind because i feel with the nine of pentacles and magician came up together uh reverse if this person is not single yeah this is not this person is not single either this is your ex-husband or wife watching you or either this person is not single watching you and interested in you like they're really interested literally interested in you um and they don't care about their marriage this could be someone like this person's personality is very egoistic okay they're hot and cold in communication okay they they are like my way or highway this could be a boss by the way someone like in your work situation your boss or someone who's a senior definitely they have a position 
this could be someone who is also in education field like professor teacher or some type of healing field like they could be guru or some short like um, reiki master or healer or coach um this is also someone who is a spiritual healer by the way spiritual teacher spiritual person that they they this could be their business in this way you know i'm also getting like they could be in military uh, they could be in police they could be in some type of official government uh, person with the hierophant and king of swords they could be from officials by the way the government's officials um highly educated i feel this person has a highly educated they could be from law or some type of law and enforcement things in the community in the society they work with that um for some reason i feel this person is in a public eye the star they are really the star in on their and they know that that's why they're very rude about that like they this person has a very um they are not maybe rude but they people just take this person as rude like they are very showy or they're very like rude person uh this person don't talk too much so that's why you know like people just get a wrong um idea of them i feel the strength reverse here this is someone also uh, they're right now going through a very difficult time of uh, finances so that could also be a possibility like they're some they're stuck in some type of financial problem and issues right now um because of this uh, i feel here that's why the world because of this uh, covid situation i'm picking up here this could be also someone who is back and forth in your life with the knight of wands hard and cold and back and forth in your relationships now let's see okay i i really want to explore that from this um, astrology who is this person okay we have the yard destiny number 48 so they could be 48 year old or maybe you 8 plus 4 12 that could be significant we have destiny so you met this person by destiny and the star is also destiny they may be thinking about like you're their destiny now we have 40 water element um sensing reverse here so yeah this person is not expressing their feelings and you can see that from king of swords they're not expressive about their feelings and they're also right now not expressing too i feel here there's no communication between you and this person we have 51 mercury retrograde reinvention yeah this is definitely someone that you had a maybe some type of fight with or conflict with with the five of swords and there's definitely a lot of blockages between communication between you and this person not no emotional talking no emotional feeling involved here but this is your destiny some of you this is definitely someone you do uh, like you married with this person like destiny the, this was destined to marry with this person and you can't change that your destiny with this person or you felt like this is your destiny to meet this person or maybe they are feeling it we are number 11 pluto transformation yeah i'm seeing 11 this is a master number definitely divine counterpart your soulmate i don't know we have transformation it's a huge transformation this person is definitely going through a huge transformation um right now maybe in career maybe in business or overall i also feel like spiritually because we have the star and transformation they're healing spiritually um we have number 44 solar eclipse revolution reverse definitely things are not changing between you and this person but they are growing up individually this person also transform your life in a way i feel here okay we got it we have uh, number 39, your element communicating. So this person really wants to talk with you, communicate with you, but you're not communicating with each other. And that's the problem. We have number 28, fourth house roots. Okay, this is definitely family related. This is someone that you had a family with, you have a children with, you have a babies with. Uh, you are connecting with this person. Obviously, it's a roots. It's your fourth house is a family. Um, you could be the mother of this person's child. Definitely. And with the roots, it's also like someone that you know from your family or this person leave your near house, uh, you know, or from the place where you came from. OK, like your your motherland or something. Yeah, this is definitely someone from your motherland or something. Now, let's see why this person is interested in you from Romance Angels. Let's see why they are interested. And then I will see what they have to say to you why they are interested in you why they are interested in my group number one what they have to say why they are interested in group number one there's a lot but see we have pay attention to the red flag reverse reconciliation i told you you know this person honeymoon this is someone that your ex-husband or you have a commitment with you have a child or baby with and they want to reconcile they want to make a 
you know, patch up with you. They want to see you. They want to meet you. This could be definitely someone from your far. Like definitely long distance relationship, honeymoon. They want to travel to see you. They want to make a trip so you can patch up together. This could be the one you already met, the romantic partner, finances and career. A lot of you, you know this person from finances and career. I told you, this is also a confirmation here. Uh, for some of you, this was only a situation shape between you and this person. Or maybe good family issues were involved between you and this person. Uh, this person is right now going through some family issues because we have the roots and strength and everything all. So they could be trying to release someone from their life. They could be in some type of karmic situation with someone. Trust. And we have forgiving and learning and love yourself first. Yeah. There's a lot of things I'm picking up here. For a lot of you, this is a red flag for you because they are married or they're separating themselves from someone. They're going through this healing process, huge transformation. They're in the process of loving themselves. Or you just took a break from this person because this was very heavy and you said, no, I don't want to deal with this anything anymore because it was not serving you in the way. So let's see why this person is interested in you from these oracles. Hands of the cards. Take a chance and options. So risk. Yeah, this is a risk. This person is being strategic. Okay, they're trying to make a strategy to come back to you. They want to play their cards. I'm picking up very correctly. If this is someone who's married and someone from your past is returning. We have the chaser. So this could be someone that you were chasing at some point and now they're chasing you. We have the kisses. This person is in love with you. They want, uh, they're falling in love. And they want to definitely this love back from you. Seduction. This could be someone that you had a definitely, um, or some type of seductive relationship with this person. I would say sexual rather than emotional. Okay. And that that's why maybe you stop talking to this person and you stop... They could be seductive by you, like they feel like you're seducing them and that's why they're interested in you. Maybe they really want to have a spend a night with you because everything is going on in their life is sucks and they want this romance and sexual energy with you. We have the phoenix. This could be talking about new phase, rekindle, reunion for those people's cassettes, definitely someone from your past. If this is someone new, they're really attractive to your body and they really want a physical and sexual connection, nothing more. Because they're really going through their own trauma and issues and they feel like you can, they can definitely have some good time with you. We have X, breakup and separation, definitely. This is X. This is someone that you are separated from. Now let's see what they have to say to you. That's a very interesting part, obviously. Their message is to you from group number one. Let's see. I feel that already that you figured it out, basically, who is this person already. I'm also picking up Virgo and Capricorn vibe from this person too. But it could be Libra. I also feel Libra. Because they're stuck. They really want to balance. If this is Libra, they really want to balance things out. Um, and Sagittarius too. We have. I'm preparing to give you a surprise. I don't know. It's a surprise for you or for this person. LGBT community. Okay. For some of you, this is the same relationship. The timing just was not right for us. Okay. This is someone who wants to reconcile. I wish you were mine. Yeah, this is definitely that person who's just want to seduce you, want to, you know, want to be with you because they're married and you are this single person or you maybe, I don't know. This is that person I'm picking up here. Uh, you maybe don't like me anymore, but I still do. Okay. Now let's see what they have to say, group number one. Okay, let's see. We have, you put smile on my face whenever I see you, okay? This like looks like someone is crushing on you and they really want to be with you. Do you love me the way I love you? Yeah, this is like a crush. Someone is falling in love, kisses. And they can't control themselves. We have past life connection, okay? There's no doubt about this. Major confirmation here. So let's see more about group number one. Okay, the cards are flowing up. Let's see, for group number one, basically. I'm sorry for that. It's, it's definitely not organized. That's why I'm facing the problem here. Okay. Okay. This karmic situation driving me nuts. Okay, definitely this person is definitely going through a karmic situation. And they want to be with you. I'm shy. P.S. You know me. Okay, some of you, you know this person and they're shy. 
They don't know how to tell you about their feelings. We have, I want to hold you in my arms. This person is in love with you, like hella. Please don't pressure me. I want to kiss you right now. Mm. So this is that person. So I hope you understand, but still I feel that anything else to get to know about this person. Let, uh, let's confirm that. We have number 39, community. So definitely you have some type of celebration or community, same community from this person, same tradition from this person or something like that. 39 is very important number maybe for you. We have the marriage. Yeah, I told you. They are married maybe. They are married or maybe this is your marriage partner. We have number seven, message. This person is going to message you very soon. Number seven and three important. I feel that this could be three and seven life path number between you and this person. Let's see uh, more about this person. Any confirmation or anything else about this person to my viewers? Let's see for group number one. Who is this person? They were interested in my group number one. So we have 20 house. So definitely it's talking, by the way, the fourth house also talk about house. So this is someone that you shared the house together. You were living together at some point and you were living maybe in a relationship like a marriage couple. Maybe you were not married. For some of you, this is someone that they're married. Okay. And you're, you just gone. Maybe you met this person in their house too. We have the poverty. This is someone and they feel like they can help you if you are the poverty person. Like you don't have a finances. This person is maybe rich. So they feel like they can help you. But in return, you need to give something to this person. This is also someone they're feeling emotionally poverty because they're not happy in that marriage occupation. So some of you definitely know this person from your uh, work, the work that you guys do together or you did together already. Maybe. I feel that I, I don't know. I'm getting like you were on, on marriage of this person. Like whenever the marriage happened of this person, you were there available. I don't know why. Coffee and yeah, this is definitely ex, someone that you said goodbye to. You're not together with this person anymore. You walked away and they're missing you. We have number 29, um, imprisonment, but it's came up reverse. So they're definitely coming out of this, uh, coming out of their show. There's something about this person is like they can't make a move right now. Anything else? Last one is 11, sudden wealth. Okay, yeah, this is definitely someone who wants to help you in money, finances, or they may be rich. And this could be related with the money. I'm also picking up some type of casinos, clubs, parties. You met this person there. To be honest, number 11 again. And we also have the, what I saw here, 11, 11, 11. So this could be your twin flame, by the way, for some of you. 11, 11, it's a twin flame number. But it also could be, you may be seeing 11, 11 not. So it could be re reminding you of this person, like this person is thinking about you. And want to come back to you. I'm also seeing triple seven here, so you could be seeing triple seven a lot. That could be a significant for you. Triple seven is also a spiritual number, so they could be going through a spiritual growth, or you may be going, you may be evolving together with this person. So this could be your spiritual partner, by the way. If it's not twin flame soulmate, this is your spiritual partner. This person has an important role in your spiritual journey. Okay, so that's your reading. I hope it resonates. See you later in the next video. Bye. Hi, group number two. The welcome on my channel. Um, this is your reading. If you choose the sun card, let's see who is this person interested in my group number two. Please, please tell me about the person interested romantically in group number two. Who is this person? Page of Wands. Okay. I'm getting Aries, Leo, and Sag vibe. Mostly, I get my Aries and Sagittarius vibe from this person. Uh, this is someone who is very attractive. They were charming. They were good looking. Okay, we have the star, queen of pentacles, six of wands. Definitely in a public eye. This person is a star. This person could be definitely in a public eye. They could be artist. Um, they could be singer. They could be musician. They, they're very, very creative. That's why you choose the sun, okay? You have the sun and you have the star. But I feel that you are popular too in your own business, in your own work, whatever you do. You are also popular in your friend circle and in your business. Okay, and you both are complete. You both complement each other, and that's why this person is attractive to you because they feel you are a good match for them. They're really attractive to you, by the way. Page of Wands. Yeah, this could be some of you. This could be your one of your admirer or some one of your fam. If you have any pages on social media, we have Eight of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. Ooh. What is this? So this person could be Aquarius. I'm getting Cancer, 
Pisces and Scorpio vibe from this person, but I'm getting more Cancer. Um, we have the Three of Wands. I'm also getting Capricorn vibe. I'm getting... Okay. The last one is the world. Oh my goodness. I don't know how much popular this person is. Are you? Death, Scorpio. Okay. Scorpio. Aquarius. Capricorn. Cancer. Leo. Sagittarius. Aries. I'm also picking up Virgo. This is someone that you left behind. Eight of Cups and Death. You you left behind. You, you walked away from this person or they walked away from you. You're not in a contact with this person and they're watching you. They're spying on you. They're definitely watching you with a world card. It's the internet for me. This person is watching your internet, spying on you secretly. They feel like you're, you don't know it, but I feel that intuitively you know that who's this person. You know that they're spying on you. You also may be spying on this person. I feel this person has maybe secret uh, account to watch you, basically what's going on with you. I also feel this could be someone that you had a family with. Um, you got separated from, okay? Because you have the Ten of Pentacles and uh, the death. It could be your, uh, your ex-husband or ex-wife. They're watching you on social media or your workplace also. I feel this is someone who, who is crying over you. Five of Cups. Yeah, this is a very bad breakup between you and this person. But it could be separation because the Hierophant. It's a marriage card. Queen of Pentacles is a wifey card. Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and Hierophant. It's a commitment. It's a marriage. Yeah, it's a it's it's a breakup. It's 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 breakup. It's it's a ex husband or wife. They're crying over you. Look at this dark energy. Look at these three dark cards. And you choose the sun. You may be shining and glowing and they're they're crying over you. They're definitely crying over you. Ace of Cups, they want a new beginning with you. They want forgiveness. They want another chance. But for this group, I feel that there is an ex watching you, and but there is also someone who is new watching you. Because when I saw this card together, I feel this is someone ex and this is someone new. But yes, there's a definitely two people that are interested in you. Um, someone from your past and someone is ex. Yeah, I strongly feel that. Now, this is Eight of Cups. This is someone definitely you had a family with and they're waiting for you. Three of, three of one, they're waiting for you. That one day you will text them and you will come back to them. They're wishing to come back to you. Now, look at this. We have the sun, we have the star, and we have the moon. So the sun and moon, you're complementing each other. You're divine counterparts. This is destined meeting with the sun here. I feel that you definitely have some soul connection with this person or psychic with the moon. But you need to more trust up on your intuition about this person rather than your intuitions, your feeling. Because I feel this is you with the Queen of Pentacles. This is your energy. You're working on your finances. You're working on your home. You're taking care of your family. You're taking care of your kids. You're taking care of your grandparents and parents. Or maybe this is you. You're, you're tr trying to create your own legacy. You're focused on your career. And they're saying that you're glowing. You're shining. You are, they maybe feel like you're moving on from them. They don't have any hold over you. But I feel that you used to talk to this person. You used, you know this person, by the way, Eight of Cups. You know this person. You used to attract you to this person. You used to talk to this person. You used to, I feel here, have maybe some type of adventures or some type of projects with this person. But this could be your ex-husband. I told you, this is a very serious energy of being uh, someone that is crying over you. They're crying over this, this, like this marriage. Their brand marriage is broken. They're crying over you. This could be someone that they recent. If this is you don't know that if you're not married, okay. This could be someone they gone through separation recently. They break up with their very long term committed partner or marriage partner, and you are this new person for this uh, them. That's why they're interested in you, and they feel like this is a destined meeting. Definitely, this person is watching you. This could be one of your secret admirer, or you are the one of secret admirer of this person. Vice versa. Because I'm definitely seeing that uh, you are very attractive to this person. You see this person very attractive. There could be age difference too between you and this person. I feel females here are more mature, more aging up. As we talk about age here, you are more mature. You're more uh, serious, disciplined, organized rather than this person. And that's why they may be attractive to you. 
This is definitely someone who may be long distance relationship. If it's not a long distance, they recently completed the cycle in their life. They definitely left something behind and you are this new opportunity for them. And they're looking at you and they're admiring you from afar with a star. They feel like you're a very strong, independent, confident woman or man, whoever you're watching this video. But it could be possible here that you are admiring this person. These qualities has this person and you're admiring this person. And they may be admiring you back, right? Now, I want to see that. Who is this person? Let's see. Let's see from this um, astrology cards. Who is this person? Please spread tell about this group number two. We have the Pisces, I believe. Okay. This person could be a Pisces. Very Neptuning uh, energy here. Fantasy. They're dreaming about you. We have water element sensing reverse. So yeah, they're not expressing their feelings. A lot of blue here. So communication problem between you and this person. Okay, we have Aries, I am. So you could be Aries or Pisces couple. Or they could be Aries, I am. This person is very strong. They're very attractive. I told you, fire sign energy. They're very attractive. Whoever you're connecting with, male or female, they're very attractive. They also have a one side, like they were dreaming. They're dreaming about you, but they're not showing it. This is someone, their base chakra is very, very, sorry, root chakra is very, very strong. Base and root chakra. Very passionate. They're very attractive to you physically. I'm seeing a lot of red and blue emotions, passion. Oh my goodness. We have Kiron, healing, number eight, reverse. Yeah, this person is not healed properly. If you left this person, they can't get over that. How can you left them? If they're very popular, they have a lot of money, their wealth, they're put they're definitely stable and reliable money wise. Their business or it could, they could be business minded, they could be in a business, uh, they could be self made person, they're very uh, I would say entrepreneur. They're very successful, whoever you're connecting with. They're very popular in their own field. Does not matter their their star, singer, artist. They could be, but I feel this is someone who well known in their community, in their work field. They're very popular, whatever they're doing. You could be a YouTube artist or something. You could have a fan or pages, uh, and they're watching it. You're glowing. You're shining. Are you you maybe uh, maybe a public speaker uh, or maybe social media influencer or something? And they're they're definitely admiring you. Now we are. They could be. We have the number seven, Jupiter, abundance reverse. Yeah, they're not happy. They're not happy. They could be stuck in some type of, uh, you know, financial problem right now. Yeah, there's, there's definitely some, some, something happened between you and this person. Jupiter is also the husband in woman card. So this could be someone who is your divine counterpart, but they don't know yet. Uh, I told you this is your husband you break up with. Let's see, we have number five, Mars Force. Definitely Mars Scorpio energy here and Aries energy, very strong. They're very passionate, very driven. They want to take action. They're also very angry. I'm seeing a lot of air, you know, a lot of red hair. They're very angry, frustrated. They're very attractive. They're very energetic. They could be from sports, like they could be athletic. We have number 30, sportsman or athletic, you know teacher, professor, or something. This person is inspiration for a lot of people with a star here. People follow them. Their, their advice, people follow them, follow their advice. We have fire element desire. This person is desiring you. They have a lot of force, desire, and uh, these emotions and feelings to come and tell you how much they like you, how much they're desiring you. So a lot of you, if this is your ex-husband or ex-partner, they definitely, you had a great sex with this person and they're missing it. They're missing this. Now let's see why they're interested in you, what they want to say and how they're feeling, why they are interested in group number two, my group number two, why they're interested, why they're interested, why they are interested. There's a lot. I'll take it. 
Yeah, they really want to heal family issues if you have between each other. Okay, the cards are just flowing up. Healing family issues. These cards flew up. So yeah, they really want to heal this issue between you and them if you have a family issues together. I also feel this could be someone that the father of your kid. Like it's not like you just get married. You, you never get married or this person never commit to you. But this could be your father of your kid. Pay attention to the red flags. Yeah. Heart to heart conversation. You're not talking right now. Definitely. And they want to talk with you. Religious factor. This could be talking about from different culture, religion. But also at the same time, they, are, they need to grow up a lot. They need to mature up. They need to be responsible. Let your friends help you. Unrequited love. A lot of you, you felt unrequited love by this person. Or maybe your friend uh, came up between you and them. Okay. Also. They could be asking help from their friends or other people's. Let go of control issues. Yeah. This is someone that they want to be in charge. They don't want to lose their shit, their ego. Finances and career reverse. Yeah, they're definitely focused on their finances. They're really driven by their finances and career. They're very goal-oriented by this Mars and Aries energy. They have, I feel that they settled their finances already, but still they have to achieve a lot of goals. They're very public, I feel like. They're very, they're very popular with the sun, the star, like a lot of inspiration for a lot of people. Honeymoon, they have a romantic feelings. Are you had a honeymoon with this person already? Forgiving and learning. Yeah, they want forgiveness from you. They really want another chance. I don't know, you will give them a knot. So... Let's see what this person has to say to you. This is interesting thing now. What their message is to you. Okay. This is like, I will not take up because there's a lot of flew up, but I still want to feel it. I will not give up on you and us. This is Aries energy. They will not give up. This is Aries energy and also Capricorn, I feel here. They could be Scorpio. Like, definitely fixed sign. Like Aquarius, Leo. But I'm also picking up Aries vibe too from this person in Capricorn. Like they will not give up to you on you. If they are serious with you, they're in love with you, they will not give up. They will keep trying. Okay, let's see what this person has to say to you for group number two. We have long distance relationship. Old love or new love. I tell you. You maybe have a choices between two peoples. I told you it's a confirmation. Two peoples are watching you, are interested in you. Uh, two peoples are interested in your romantic love. Someone is new and someone is old. I don't know who will you take. I want to know if you feel the same as I do for you. Yeah, they're confused. If you feel still love them or this could be someone new that they really want to make sure that you like them or not. Uh, I am tired. Can't let you go. Hmm. They can't. They definitely... You could have some type of moon and uh, Pluto conjunction, I feel here, between, in your charts. Like, it's very karmic type of relationship. And it's really that type of relationship. Like, you can't let go of each other very easily. The timing just was not right for us. I am afraid to reach out because they feel you will reject them. It could be a new person, too. They're feeling like they can't approach you because you're very strong. Yeah, it came up. I told you, secret admirer. I wish we were together, but it's complicated. Um, codependent relationship, time out. We have, do you love me the way I love you? This person really curious, like you love them or not. I want to kiss you. I'm preparing to give you a surprise. Okay. Anything else this person has to say? Let's see. Okay, this card came up. I wish you were mine. Mm. There's a lot. So this one. Don't worry, you always have my support. Okay. Let me see anything else. Please tell me about this person. Anything else? My group number two. To know about this person. This will give you the more clarity. Who is this person? Let's see. We have number seven, message. They're going to receive you. They're definitely going to send you a message very soon. They want to talk. Number 15, lovers. Yeah, this is your soulmate or twin flame. 
there's a deep love this person definitely feeling this deep love they want to kiss you definitely they want to be with you and i'm seeing these two birds definitely it's a spiritual union or love i would say pay attention to the number seven and fifteen five plus one six Fear six is the number of venus love harmony deep love 26 great fortune they could be wealthy or you could be wealthy i don't know but there's a lot of money here also we have number 25 high honor so definitely this person is very respected and uh, in a community in their whatever they're doing they could be from i don't know from officials garments they could be on a high position they could be from military police army working working with law and enforcement things like something like that justice system i don't know i'm seeing this person is very popular though they could be politician they could be ceo or some type of very authority figure i'm picking up here poverty 37 oh but there's something missing in this person's life and that is you maybe i feel number 28 expectations so a lot of you you are expecting this person you know that who is this person and you're waiting for this person because they left you maybe and now you're waiting for this person i also feel like you maybe have a baby with this person look at this it's like you have a baby and you're expecting this person to come towards you let's see we have 38 toil and labor so some of you you know this person from your work it could be your boss Or someone who's very uh, you know like hard working i told you they very they work very hard they could be driver i'm picking up like you know in buses in in, in train they could be driver in that some short i feel like because their work is very hard working like they're, they're working with something with their their they could be working in a textile i'm feeling like some type of crafts okay they work with their hands we have 21 family rooms. So a lot of you, you know this person. Maybe this is your family. Like you you used to share the room with this person, by the way. Some type of family room. 17 gift. So this person really have something to, to give you a, a gift. We have, or maybe they already give you some type of gifts. That you, you still, or maybe you give this person a gift and they still uh, have that. We have 29 imprisonment. Yeah, this person definitely imprisonment in their own way like they can't make a move they feel like they're stuck number 22 official person i told you number 22 yeah mature woman you are mature woman watching this video they're official person look at this guy i definitely feel like they're in on a high ranking they could have a beard They're strongly masculine, I'm telling you. They're masculine with the sun, with the star, and this, this. They're very strongly masculine. This is your other half, okay? This is someone who's a divine masculine. This is someone, they, they carry this masculine energy. Very, very masculine. Yeah, they could be definitely in some type of official, telling you, official. this is an official person. They have a great fortune. They're They're very... They're very wealthy and they can give you this gift. I feel that you maybe definitely I feel here there's a differences between you and this person in the um, wealth wise or in the money wise. And they can give you this gift. They really want to give you this gift. They really want to be with you because they're in love with you and they really want to share their wealth with you. Wow. You're lucky bitch. Okay, so that's your reading. <laughs> uh, I hope you like it. I hope you know who's this person. Let me know in the comments. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hello, group number three. Finally, the people who choose the moon card. Welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. Um, so let's see. Let's find out together who is this person interested in you romantically and why they are interested and what do they want to say and what action they will take towards you. First thing I pick up this person is something related with this person is like secretive, mysterious, white color also. Four of Wands. Oh, the chariot this person is ready to take action come on you have the star page of cups the ten of cups this person is ready to send you a message this person that who see, who think like you 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 make them happy or they can have a happy family with you queen of pentacles and six of wands yes so let me tell you this person could be aquarius capricorn mm, i'm also getting cancer scorpio pisces chariot cancer obviously a lot of water energy and earth 
and also air sign, especially Aquarius. Um, I'm also picking up fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, and with the six of wands too. So whoever this person is, they really want to marry you with the four of wands and queen of pentacles. They want to marry you. They see you ideal partner for them. They feel like they can have a good family with you, good uh, with the ten of cups too. This is all about like they're in love. They feel like they can have a happy home, happy family, because you are very nurturing, you are loving, you're empathic maybe. They feel like, this could be your twin flame, by the way, four of wands, 11, 11. And with a star here, it's a destined meeting between you and this person. This could be your soulmate, not twin flame for everyone, obviously. But with the moon and star, we have the, you choose the moon and we have the star. So it's like compliment, you compliment each other. So you're soulmates. You're definitely soulmates. Uh, you're opposites because we have the chariot and you can see that this this white and black so you're opposites from each other there's definitely a differences here between you and this person this person has been what i'm picking up here you can see that there's a lot of stars here on this chariot uh, card and this is a star here so this person always have been wishing and looking for a partner like you and finally when they saw you they're like ooh, la 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 so they are ready to jump in and offer you this love because i'm seeing page of cups and ten of cups they're going to send you a message very soon if if still they did not make a move but i feel that they're going to express it they want to tell you how much they like you but they will start as a just you know like flirting and you know experiencing something they will write you a poetry this person is very romantic by the way they could be a poet writer author they will send you a very cute text you know like that emojis or something that the people send so they will be or maybe they think like you're very cute so they really want to oh my god this person five of swords there could be some type of struggle i definitely feel uh, they're not still not sure because with the five with the five of swords and moon they're conflicted about their feelings but they know that what they want they know that you are the one they found the one they feel like and you are their wish fulfillment with the sun with the um, with the star here but they're hiding it they're not expressing it they could be deceptive right now but they're conflicted right now about their feelings but i'm seeing this person is coming i mean this person really wants success with you they want to win you they just want to they want they're like i want you they want you they're coming like you this person's um definitely fixated on you they're determined to get you they're just this is like six of wands you're mine i got you this is like that person so let's see who's this person so we have taurus i have yeah this person with the taurus energy like they are like i want to be with you no matter what they want to ground this relationship yeah we have eleven thousand friends 35 reverse so yeah, they could be stuck in some type of situation right now. This could be this could be someone that who is in your friend's zone or you know this person, your friend's circle. I'm seeing that 11th house is also sometimes talk about foreign things. So they could be from a different land. They could be, you could be introduced by this person to your friends or friend or something or family. Um, we have 20 Scorpio, I transform reverse. Yeah, there's definitely some type of transformation they are going in right now. We have 51 mercury retrograde reinvention so there's definitely communication sucks between you and this person are they are having a difficult time to tell you how much they like you 42 south node life's debit so they could be stuck in some type of karma right now they're paying their debits life debits yeah it's definitely south node this is definitely someone there right now healing they're living something they they are maybe resisting this transformation they maybe have this fear with the south node and transformation scorpio it's came up reverse both of them it's like they're resisting this change i feel that they need to get out of their comfort zone to get you to express you to tell you how much they like you they are admiring you they're liking you they're loving you from afar i feel that they did not make a move yet a lot of you for others of you, you know, maybe know this person because we have the Scorpio transform. It, it could be they want a reconciliation with you, like some type of uh, you have some some karma with this person that is unfinished and you both are still going on to in this circle right now. It's not over yet. It's not over yet between you and this person, if you know this person. Because right now it's like you're not in a communication mode right now. It's like Mercury retrograde. You're not talking to this person. Communication always sucks between you and this person. 
but I feel mostly of you, this person need to get out of their comfort zone. And their comfort zone is definitely like they're, they're definitely used to be with their friends and family. They're not used to be in love and they're, used not, they're not used to be attractive to um, or fall in love before like that. So that's why it's really hard for this person. They may be shy. So that's why they need to get out of their comfort zone. They need to be independent and confident. But you are this queen of pentacles. That, that's, that's what they want. They, they want a family. They want a union. They want everything with you. They're already seeing you with the moon like mother and nurturing energy. You could be a single mom, okay? That's why they're, they're attractive to you. Because they feel like you're very nurturing. You're loving. Uh, there could be age difference between you and this person. Because they feel somehow mother vibes from you. Like I'm, I'm picking up like with the moon and uh, with the queen of uh, pentacles is like mother earth, not, like nurturing planets energy, like you're empathic, you, you are just this, this uh, living soul in a body. We have Jupiter abundance reverse. So yeah, this could be someone who's your marriage partner, your husband, or they want to be your husband, but they can't. Because Jupiter is a husband. But it's also like abundance, happiness. They're feeling not optimistic about this for some reason. They feel like they can't get you. Or it's impossible to be with you for some reason. We have number 28. Sorry, 25. First house, the body, reverse. Yeah. So they're definitely not making a move. Aries energy here. There's some type of fears I'm picking up. This person has a mixed energy. Like not sure about this relationship. Not know life purpose. What I told you. <laughs> okay, Venus love reverse bottom of the deck. They're resisting this love. That is destined for both of you. You both are resisting this love, by the way. This is your destined love. You're resisting this love. You are in love, but you're not expressing to each other. You're also resisting to accept this. You're also resisting to change and getting out of your comfort zone. There's a lot of things I feel that you both need to heal. Look, we have the South Node and North Node same in the same reading together. This is someone that you are destined partner. You have some mission with this person on this planet. You, you, you mean to be together. You mean to be together. You will end up together. And this could be someone that who will be your husband. But right now, it's like it's, it's in the air. You don't know about this relationship, maybe, or they may be not seeing this relationship revolving or, you know, evolving or something. Or this could be your ex-husband. Who knows, right? Because we have the Queen of Pentacles and Ten of uh, Cups and Four of Wands. Like, you're separated with this person. This is someone that is your North Node, like your life mission. You're destined to be with this person. You're destined to learn the lessons with each other. You will definitely experience a lot of things together. Or maybe you're already knowing that. Let's see why they are interested in you. Yeah, it is safer to love, but you're not believing it for some reason. Worth waiting for. It's came up reverse. Love yourself first and attraction. There's a strong attraction here. You may be healing right now and they are maybe also in the process of healing. Strong attraction. They can't deny it. You may be give up on this relationship or they may be giving up already. They feel like it's never going to work out. Very soon, decide what do you want. So it comes, flood, and unrequited love situation. For a lot of you, this could be someone that is you seeing them as a flirty, and they feel like it's unrequited love because you feel like they're not attractive to you. A lot of people are attractive to them or you, and someone is being flirt here, and you took this love and attraction is flirt, and unrequited love here. They may be feeling like you're not attractive to them as much as they are. Yeah. We have, this could be the one. You already met the romantic partner and it is safer to love. I told you, there's definitely, they really feel like they met the one. But there's something, this person is feeling not good. Maybe they're coming out of a relationship or maybe you are right now healing in the process of, uh, you know, releasing someone, you know, uh, from this unrequited love situation. You're healing right now. Or maybe they're also, and you maybe can't see it, like they're attractive to you. For some of you, you don't know it because they're a secret admirer. They're liking you from afar. Yeah, they, they're hiding. They're hiding themselves. You don't know that. Who is this person? You need to trust your intuition, religious factor. So they could be from different culture, religion, differences between you and this person. Or maybe different beliefs, but you both are spiritual. Calling in your soulmate. This is your true soulmate, by the way. You call in this person and this person is coming. But I don't know what's the problem. 
now let's see what this person has to say to you. There are messages for you. What this person has to say, group number three. Don't hold back. Express your feelings. I like you too. Okay. So you used to talk to this person, but somehow you're feeling they don't like you, but they do. I'm really possessive about you. Oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's like a Scorpio energy. Oh. I'm also bringing up Aries vibe too from this person. I want to date you. Mm, this could be someone new. Oh, I'd say a secret admirer. I'm tired. Can't let you go. X here. Long distance relationship. That's why maybe they're afraid that this relationship will never work out. But they want to date you though. They really want to get to know you closely. Now is not their time. So wait. Okay. So they need to do something. They may be releasing someone or maybe you are releasing because I definitely feel some of you definitely going through this, this healing right now. Self-love and self-focus. Past life connection. If you believe in past life, this is maybe your past life because we have South Node and North Node. So maybe you will meet this person again in this lifetime. You will feel like, why this person? You're feeling this pull toward this person and you don't know why. Because you have some past life connection. Please don't pressure me. You maybe don't like me anymore, but I still do. Okay. I'm shy. Yes, you know me. Okay, a lot of you, you know this person. Who is this person? So trust your intuition. Now, let's see if anything else I can tell you about this person for group number three. Please tell me. Who is this person for group number three? Okay. Family room, 21. Number 10, journey. So a lot of you, you are in journey with this person. You will have a family with this person. I feel this is in the future though like you will have a journey with this person you will travel to see this person you will have a i feel this person is very abundant like they're wealthy rich they're good enough number two main female look at this you are the main female for this person okay and we have the concern 33 so they could be busy right now in working something there's a lot of concerns right now in their life that they're working on so that's why they can't make a move right now because they need to think about themselves, their family, about their work. But you are the main female, by the way. Number 11, sudden wealth. Okay, number tri triple seven. You could be seeing triple seven and we have number 11. So this could be a divine counterpart. I'm not saying twin flame and soulmate. I'm saying divine counterpart. This is someone that you have a, you have a mission with, you have a life purpose with, you're destined to meet this person because you are the main female. You will maybe end up marrying with this person. You know it or not, by the way. It's like journey. You may be... This is someone... If this is someone new and secret admirer, like this is the one, I feel. Because you kissed a lot of frogs meeting this person. You met the long, wrong peoples before meeting this person because this is the one, I feel. Number 20, house. So this person has a house. They really want to have a family with you. I feel like a big house, wealthy man. Number 24, thief. It's not like a thief. Like you feel like they're a thief or they're the player. I'm picking up. You are getting them like they're a player, flirty. It's not. They're family oriented, I feel here. Let's see. They could be, by the way, a thief. Like they may be right now in jail or they were in, used to be in jail, you know, for some type of corruption, some type of a case, I feel here. We have mature woman, number six. So there could be a mature woman dealing with this relationship right now. Or maybe this is you, mature woman. Or this could be someone who is concerned about the other woman in their life right now. This could be their family related thing or house related thing, their sister, mother. We have thoughts, 16. So this person is definitely, I told you, like a painter, artist, poet. They definitely feel like you're the ideal one for them. They're, you are in the, their thoughts. I feel this person is drawing you. Uh, you could be seeing a lot of synchronicities about this person. This person could have a bear's mustache especially. You are the ideal type of this person. Number 18, child. So there could be some concern with the mother and child. Or could be another relationship involved here. They're right now going through. They're in a karmic situation with a child-related thing. Are you maybe this, this mature woman with a baby? You're the single mom, maybe. With a child here, maybe they want to have a family and children with you. So let's see who is this person. We have the great fortune, 26. This person is lucky. This person, I'm almost seeing this person is in a in a in a three-piece suits in, in a very official dress. 
They're very businessman or business oriented, I feel here. Lovers, bottom of the day. So this is your soulmate or lover. Wow, wealthy man. I mean, bitch, who you are getting? Please tell me who's this person. <laughs> <laughs> look at this how this person is dressed like in a three-piece suit or something these boots this they could be clean shave this is a lover i mean we have the this this doves here so this is a divine this is your soulmate this is someone that you will end up with i'm also seeing this clock almost i'm seeing timing so it's all about the timing between you and this person but you will be together but let me know who's this wealthy man you bitches come on who is this lovers I feel that you love this person too. A lot of you, you know this person, you love them too. But somehow you feel like it's never going to work out. So you left them and you're not with them. You're not talking. But you're still in some type of situation with this person. For others of you, it's like this is someone that you are right now maybe in the process of healing and releasing someone. And this is someone new that is admiring you from afar. So they will definitely show you because they are hiding. Okay, so that's your reading. Give the thumbs up. I will see you in the next video. Bye. God bless you all.